So hey folks, hope you are all well, had a good Christmas, it's now the 27th of December, I just stopped here for a wee break, and over there is the Wonky Bridge, I don't know why it's called Wonky, I guess it's because it goes across at a peculiar angle rather than just going straight across the Clyde. But there was quite a few problems with it anyway. Structural problems. <laughs> but I don't think I'm actually allowed to go over it from this side of the road. I think you can come over it that way. So there, so I'll crack on. So I'm just out for a leisurely ride this afternoon. It's just past half twelve-ish. And um getting sprayed off of cars which is quite annoying but speaking of which I'll give my lens a wipe again if the camera's still rolling that is yes it is running off pure battery today I even remember to pack a spare one as well I thought I'll give the anchor power pack power bank portable charger thing a rest and see if it see if that's been what's causing havoc with my camera turning off on me it's either that or the media mod or the camera itself although it could be a memory card issue I suppose but uh, no, I'm getting all the footage that is recording okay on the memory card there's just that many things you can check <laughs> to find out don't like fault diagnosis as well. It's not good. Just approaching Lanner Clock. So hopefully it's quiet today. <laughs> it's never quiet. Rain, hail or snow, I imagine. This is mobbed all year round. I'd rather people came to parks and stuff like that right enough than went shopping with Covid still a thing Damn it, if there wasn't like council vans and stuff there I was actually going to take my bike down there because there's a barrier there but as you see I could go through any of them spots Although, ideally, don't really want to be on grass for slippy reasons. So, how have a wee smoke break here, I think. It's quite a decent sized lock, that actually. I need to come down here with the dog. Take him out a walk. Cheers for not pulling out and killing me, missus. I always appreciate that. Hopefully you folks do as well. Some of the roads are soaking just due to the, <laughs> the amount of rain that fell yesterday. But I just thought, it's wind down time for the end of the year. I've not got any jobs to do urgently that need done today. So more than likely I'll come in and work and hug my knee for a little bit and it's supposed to be lashing the rain tomorrow so it's good to be able to juggle my work around my rides 
one of the beneficial factors of being self-employed, I suppose. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I intentionally went to stall it, then my foot slipped off the pedal. Oh. I seem to be drawn to water. Everywhere I go, there seems to be water. Although in a place as wet as Scotland, there's water bloody everywhere. But at least it's not falling from the sky today. Although looking a bit grey that way, the way I'm headed. Typical. Oh, well, and there's another biker coming, so I'll just leave my camera on. See if I can get a bit of footage of him. <laughs> Sixty-seven plate Duke of some sort. So as it happens, that KTM Duke that passed me was actually a twelve ninety Super Duke because the big did come back <laughs> to have a chat with me. Nice big guy. He's been riding a few years now. Took it up in his forties, like I have done. And he's went from a 125 Duke to a 600 Honda Hornet and now he's on his dream bike which is his KTM Super Duke So, impressive looking big bike with impressive gadgetry on it, he was telling me <laughs> So I've got all that to look forward to in the future folks Gadgetry on your bikes. Really control gadgetry. Nah, I think I'll give that a miss for a good while. <laughs> Although I've done Honda seem to not put temperature gauges on their bikes, I've noticed. Whereas I've got a temperature gauge on this, no bother. But there's no oil warning light on this. Just an oil service warning light, which is annoying. But the Honda's got a, a temperature light, so if it gets over overly hot, the light comes on. So just new stuff. I've also noticed the horn and the indicator is the wrong way round, in my opinion, on the Honda. The horn is above the indicator. So, is that a normal thing? Is the horn normally below the indicator button? Or is the horn button normally above it? You guys can answer that for me if you could. Please answer these questions. I need answers. Right, I'm just going to stop here and do a wee sticker stop. A sticker stick. I actually forgot to do one at that last bit I stopped at, which is annoying. <laughs> but when the guy started talking bikes to me, I can't really moan about that. That was awesome. I love talking about bikes. If only my wife would listen. But she's still no interest. She's got as much interest in motorbikes as I do in hair. Since she is a hairdresser. To tr by trade, to trade. So I just pretend I'm listening when she's talking here. And she just tells me to shut up when I'm talking more about <laughs> uh, And that's the truth. That is the truth.
I can see why some people don't ride their bikes in the winter. Goodness. Dirt and salt everywhere. Grit. So she is a filthy pig. She is a filthy pig. The guy with the super duke there, his bike was minging as well. Uh, but as we had the conversation of, they're used, what do you expect? Give them a wash after you ride. Although I'm certainly glad this has, hasn't got fairings like the YZFR because salt and grit gets in everywhere. You should really take your fairings off, I guess, on a fair bike every now and again. Oh, the dirt in that back wheel. That's the worst I've ever seen it. But the tyres are scrubbing in nicely. No issues. Knocking wood. There's a sticker on that sign that looks like one of mine. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Stopped and gave my lens and my visor a good clean there, as well as my headlight and my indicators front and rear. They were just brown, brown with mud and grit and dirt and salt and all of that shit. Put these grips back on. Oh, that's amazingly mild today. Even with the wind blast, it's not bad. So I've got my theory coming up in eight days time. So I better get revising again. <laughs> so there's a few local schools around. Uh, once I've got my paperwork in hand for my theory, without counting my chickens before they hatch, that is obviously. I'll then go on to contact a few schools and see who's got the best deal going, basically. My mate Miller, he done a great thing, he done a job, he's a joiner and he done a bit of work for a guy and the guy turned out to be a motorcycle instructor so he's called Ian he stays up Perthshire way I'm sure so too far for me but he put him through his test basically and Miller just done the work for him so worked out good for him But no, it's a, quite an expensive thing to get. You can be anywhere between six to a thousand pounds, or six hundred to a thousand pounds. But it'll be worth it. There we go. Oh, there's a toilet. That's handy. I could do with a pee, actually. I could just flip that over and use it, couldn't I? Okay, really. I'm just here to stick my sticker on. But there she do. So that's straight. 
Uh, that's a camera, it's squint, that's what it is. So I imagine this will be my last ride down this way this year. But I'm glad I came out. I could have went home in St. Mass, watched a bit of TV, watched some YouTube. But I figured get out while I can. So I did. So as I said earlier, the weather's supposed to turn tomorrow and be miserable and wet for the next few days. So I'll call it a day here folks. And wish you a happy new year. All the best for 2022. And hopefully next year things will start to get normal again. Right, I suppose I better take this back to work and give the filthy beast a wash. Peace out folks. Take it easy. Cheers.